Hello everybody, Cam Sweet here from the Garage Connection coming to you today with a video about the controls on your mini excavator. So what we're going to do, we're going to talk about the different control types that you can put on these machines just by switching some hoses and then we're going to go actually, we're going to go ahead and switch this machine from the ISO style to the SAE style. So stand by for more. So the first thing we got to do, we got to identify what we're currently controlling, okay? In the ISO configuration, the right hand stick is going to control your bucket, curl and dump, and it's going to control your boom up and down. So that will be boom down, this will be boom up. On the left hand stick, we're going to swivel left, swivel right, and then this stick also controls the arm, or sometimes called the... Um, stick out and in. So if I wanted to curl in with the bucket and move the arm in, I would have to pull back on this one and I would have to curl like this. Now a lot of people don't like this. The SAE configuration is pretty much the opposite. The left to right movements don't change at all, but in the SAE configuration, the movement of this joystick is what controls your arm going in or out. And this stick is what you go left, right, and you go boom down or boom up. The procedure for actually changing this configuration is very straightforward. All you need to do is remove the covers to the control levers here and, of course, the associated components and your little boot here. So you're going to need a Phillips head. You're going to need a 10 mil to take the boot off. And we have to go ahead and remove this outer shield, which on my machine happens to be a 12 mil. So we're going to get this done right now, and we'll be right back with you. Now that we got our cover off, uh, and, and the good thing about taking the cover off is the bolts are probably gonna be loose anyways, if you know anything about these machines. What we have here, we can see our control linkage, okay, for our two levers here, and we talked about this already. We are interested in the forward and back change. We're not changing anything side to side. So what we've done is identified that, okay, on this side, it is in fact this directional control valve, and on this side, it is this one, okay? What I've done, I wrote a one on the upper and lower hose, and I wrote a two over here. When we're done, we're just gonna do a one-for-one one switch to the other side. We're not gonna change the order of any of these hoses because the flow of the hydraulics through the lines does not change. A couple notes of housekeeping on this also. This is a great time to go ahead and put a wrench on all these different pivot points and make sure that they're tight. Mine was loose from the factory. The next thing I wanna say is before you do any of this, you make sure you put every single part of your machine on the ground. Drop the bucket, drop the boom, make sure there is no residual pressure in any of these lines, okay? Because if you when, when you take one of these off, if your boom is off the ground at all, it's coming down, okay? Just wanna put that out there. of the conversion from the ISO type controls to the SAE type controls. From this point, all I would do is obviously test run the machine, make sure everything works. I'm not gonna do that now because I don't wanna die in my garage from carbon monoxide poisoning. And then you put everything back together. Um, you know, doing this conversion, the jury's kinda out on which one's actually better. Um, some people have pointed out that the whole world uses ISO why don't you just learn how to do ISO? Uh, and then other people will say, well, SAE got us on the moon, fractions got us on the moon, and the metric system's why we crashed into Mars. So, I don't know, it's totally up to you. It's your machine. I'm gonna keep it in the SAE configuration because that's what I learned how to drive, and I'm hoping I can smooth out my operation a little bit using a configuration that I'm comfortable with. For now, that's gonna do it. Hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you could please like and subscribe to the channel, we're going to be bringing more great content to the Garage Connection about these machines. And fingers crossed, we're going to start talking about attachments. And I'm finally going to put a nail in hydraulic cooler and filter that I've been talking about for so long. I'm working on something real good for that. Stay tuned for more. Cam Sweet from the Garage Connection. And stay on those projects.